Hey guys, it's Stacy and Farah from Lady Farah Tarot. Farah wanted to pop in for a second to say hi and also to thank um, the buddy bandana for her new bandana around her neck. Um, it matches her collar very well. Um, she's being very fussy. It's all just a very fussy morning here. It's very noisy. Um, and I apologize already. I'm late to the game today, guys, but um, I'm here. Hi, Michael. Hi. All right. So let's get this party started. We're going to do the, um, do a little tutorial on the magician today. So yeah, last week we did the fool. This week we are on number one, um, uh, the magician. I apologize for all the noise in the house. It's just too many kids. Okay. So I thought I would start with the Marseille, Marseille um, tarot. Now this is the original image. You know, I, I don't know if anybody knows any of the history of the tarot card, but it was developed in the 14th and the 15th century. They were just really originally just playing cards. They, um, you know, like the cups were hearts. The um, wands were, or batons were um, clubs. Um, you know, it's, it's, they, they, it's kind of like the, the forerunner of our original playing cards. And that's what people used to do with them. They used to just play cards. So they didn't really used to have really nice, beautiful pictures like this until about the turn of the century. Um, when um, the, the beginning of the 21st century, when somebody developed the Rider Waite cards with the, for the purpose of fortune telling. So, um, you know, this is the original Marseille deck. And this is the mag magician in the Marseille deck. Um, as you can see, you know, he has a hat on, I'm putting on my glasses so I can see, he has a hat and he's got the wand, a lot like, um, the Rider Waite card from the beginning of the century. You know, the hat, this, this, um, eternity sign is supposed to be represented in this hat. This is supposed to be the eternity sign. And they both have their hands to the sky. This one actually has his finger to the ground, almost like a conduit, like a conductor of uh, electricity. Um, you know, he is perception. He is thinking out of the box. He uses all of the elements. Um, you know, at, in the Marseille, you don't see um, a lot of the things that you know, we see later on, we don't see the swords and we don't see, um, you know, the batons and stuff. He does have a baton in his hand, but in this one, you could actually see he has all the elements. He has the pentacles, the cups, the swords, and the baton. And that means that he's able to work between elements to actually, um, help him make decisions in his life. And, um, you know, he is, um, you know, he's, he's represented by Mercury his sign is Mercury, and it just wants you to know when you get the magician, you know, you really just have all that you need to help you in life and to help you make decisions. It's a great card. And then when I, you know, I was looking at, um, this is the Marchetti deck, the, um, the magician. And, you know, I was interested to see that instead of having just a regular cup, he actually had the ace of cups here because he want in this, in this, um, um, edition of the, um, magician, he wants you to think about all the things that can ca happen from every one of your decisions. You know, he has the light of the world. He has intellect. He has intuition and he is able to move between all the signs, air, water, um, fire and, um, air, water, fire. And what am I forgetting people? Oh boy. It's been a long morning, but you see, you do have the eternity sign in this card too. Um, he wants you to think of all the ramifications of like what could happen when you make decisions, you know, floating between the suits, you know, um, he wants you to try and not be too set in your ways to be flexible, adaptable, um, to implement your teachings and, um, you know, cups want you to consider, that's why I think this is the ace of cups is in here, wants you to consider other people's feelings when you um, have difficulties and you have to make a decision. Um, also to take an intuitive approach, 
Swords, um, you know, help you analyze a situation. Coins tell us we need to consider the consequences of our action in the material world. You know, it, it just wants you to be aware of all the elements in our lives that are affected by, um, you know, decisions. But he is the, he is, he is the teacher in the deck. He is here. He is number one because he is the first person that the fool meets up with on his journey, you know? So he is, he's the original teacher for the fool. So, um, you know, that's a little low down on the magician. I hope that some of these hard, these desks to be hard to understand, but, um, I'm going to pull a couple of Oracle cards just so we have a little fun today since these are quickly becoming my favorite oracles. Let's see what um, the Sacred Destiny Oracle has for us today. Hope you're doing okay, Michael. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Come on. What do we got? What do we have today? Oop, got a few flipping over. Voyage. You know, I'm hoping we're going to be able to have Voyage soon. I'm hoping we're going to be able to, um, you know, move forward and come out of our houses. You know, I haven't learned all the meanings of these cards yet, but, you know, life is a voyage. And I was thinking last night how short life is, how absolutely finite it is. And how we always have to be moving forward and not getting stuck in the past. I've been trying to do all this trance meditation. And, you know, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Like last night wasn't very successful for, for me. But I'm trying to keep in perspective that, you know, life is a journey. We are on a voyage. There are people who come into our lives that are supposed to stay. And there's people that come through our lives just to teach us a lesson. And we have to let them go. So but it's all part, part of our voyage. And, you know, wisdom, have the wisdom to understand what's right for us and what's wrong for us. You know, using, I'm going to post the picture that my friend Sundar sent me about all the chakras, you know, really be aware of your chakras and what they're saying to you, you know, live a clean life so you could be open to getting wisdom from the universe and from things around us. Go outside. Don't wear music when you do it. Listen to the birds and the trees. The universe is all around us giving us um, wisdom. And, you know, we have to be open to listening to it. A little bit of a spiel from me. Not that I ever listen to myself, people. It's all internal craziness. All right, let's get the divine doors because I am, like, totally in love with these cards. I'm going to show them to you. I was going to do an opening, but... Yeah, I thought that was kind of boring. All these cards. <laughs> I'm a new one. I'm new. One card for me, please. Okay, let's take one out of uh, Punar. Let's take one out from the Divine Doors. Let's see what Divine Doors say for you. Okay. Thanks for stopping in. Let's see what we got. Let's see what our Oracle card says for us today. What do we got? So tomorrow I'll be doing the angel card reading. So I should be on a little earlier. It's just that I didn't sleep very well last night. Oh my goodness, we had so many cards jump out. It's almost too much, but I'll go with them because I know people. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. Okay. Purna, I don't know if you're asking a question. Yes, kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. Okay, kiss the ground, touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. So yes, if you're asking a question, the answer is yes. The next one I got was a distant kiss, a prayer flag. I wish all wishes that you were here through the sunlight and the rain. I need you near. 
I don't know if any of you have a long distance relationship, but you might want to reach out. Um, this is a pass this card on a hummingbird song. Nectar of sweet and joy it brings. Hummingbirds healing medicine it sings. Listen, guys, get outside today. Listen to the birds. I am going to take, I'm going to try and grab a card for you, um, Puna. Okay? Hold on. <clears throat> See, the only cards I have in here are my uh, Mercedes. Let's see if anything comes out for you, okay, my dear, since you're asking. You got strength. Girl, you had the strength to, to tame the um, lion. You know, this is... You don't see it in this card, but usually it's it also has the infinity sign, like the um, the the magician. And when you have the infinity sign, you have all the all the everything you need to have strength in your life and 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 have power. But you also have to realize um, the ramifications of strength and power too. If you need to be strong and you need to, you know, put your foot down, you know, every action has a reaction. So, you know, people may not, you know, react so well to maybe you standing in your power. They also might take advantage of you if you're not staying in your power. So you need to find the inner strength Whatever this, sometimes this, this lion represents like our inner demons, like trying to just tame our inner demons. And sometimes we just need to make a reflection in and do more of a mind over heart, you know, in this situation. But, you know, the strength card is a good card. So it's, a, but it also carries, you know, the, um, the ramifications of strength too, you know. It could put, put you in your power and in your element, but it also, you know, some people don't like, you know, when people get too strong and start making decisions for themselves. So, you know, just be aware of that, okay? I hope that helped. I don't really know what your question was, but I'm sorry I didn't have my good cards in here. Hi, John Paul. Hope it's nice in England. It's getting warmer here. <laughs> All right, everybody, tomorrow I will do angel cards. It should be around nine o'clock. Um, uh, thank you all for tuning in. God bless you. Take care. Wear a mask um, and uh, take care of yourself, okay? I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following. Bye.